are covering Colorado first for you. We claim more mountains, over 14,000 feet than any other state. Now, by a long shot, a new study finds Colorado's 14ers are a bit shorter than we first thought. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA as we know it, recalculated the elevations following a 15-year research project. While all of the state's 58 14ers are still well above 14,000 feet, their ranking, we've learned, has now changed. CBS Colorado's Sean Boyd reports that the findings have wide implications that go far beyond these 14ers. Born and raised in Colorado, I've done more than half of the 14ers. When NOAA physicist Derek Van Westrom was tapped to lead an overhaul of the National Spatial Reference System, recalculating the elevation of Colorado's 14ers, he says, was a bonus. They needed a place to test the new system, and Colorado had the terrain they were looking for. We have, of course, people know it's uh, more land above 10,000 feet than all the other states combined. It's a very high state. It's a very rugged state. So if the system works here, we know that it'll work anywhere else in the U.S. Initial projections showed the shortest 14 er Sunshine Peak might actually be a 13-er. We are now confident that it's 14005. Making Sunshine six inches taller than Huron Peak, which is now the shortest summit. While the ranking from tallest to shortest changed for several peaks, Van Westrom says Colorado didn't lose or gain any 14ers. As for the new measurement system, it aced the test, and that has implications for far more than 14er status. The project involved recalculating sea level. Sea level isn't ever exactly level. So if you can map out what that surface is, that's the new zero for all of the heights that we're going to do for the entire nation. As part of the new calculation, NOAA measured gravity across the entire United States. We would fly these grids uh, with basically six mile spacing. It took 15 years to fly the entire nation. That tells us what the actual gravity is. Using that and sophisticated GPS, scientists say they can now calculate heights to within a couple inches anywhere in the U.S., including Colorado's highest peaks. It's fun for the hikers. It's important for the rest of the nation, but it's, uh, you know, scientifically we can prove that, yep, the new system works and it's going to be useful for everybody. I'm Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.